Dr. Zakir, are there to your mind any important sunnas of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that people avoid because they feel it will nullify their fast? Yes, there are a few sunnas of the Prophet which many Muslims avoid thinking it will break their fast or it is makroom. And the most important sunnah of the Prophet which people avoid doing Ramadan is using the sawakh, using the tooth stick. Many Muslims feel that if they use this, it is makhruf. The main reason is there's a hadith of Muhammad a hadith which is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, book of fasting, hadith number 1904, where the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, I swear by Allah in whose hand is the soul of Muhammad, peace be upon him, that the breath of the person who fasts is more sweeter to Allah than the scent of musk. Now, based on this hadith, many Muslims think that if they use the sawakh, the breath, the bad breath or the foul breath of the person who fasts will not be there and it will not please Allah. That's the reason they avoid using sawakh. Now, these people, they fail to realize that when we use the stick, sawakh, it does not remove the breath the foul breath, or the breath which people normally don't like, of the person who fast. The sewak mainly brushes the gums. It cleans the teeth. It helps in keeping the teeth healthy. But in no way does it reduce the breath, especially of the person who fast. And furthermore, there's a sunnah of the Prophet, where Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, hadith number 887, our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that if it wouldn't have been too hard for my ummah, I would have made it compulsory for them to use the sevak, the tooth stick, before every prayer. Or to use the tooth stick while doing wudu. Like how wudu is a requirement before salah. The Prophet, if it wouldn't have been too difficult for the ummah, he would have made it compulsory to use the tooth stick. And here, he did not mention any exceptions. Other he would have said, I would have made it compulsory for my ummah except during fasting. This important sunnah, surely if this would have been makhru while fasting, would have nullified the fast, surely he would have mentioned it. So this proved that this is an important sunnah which Muslims should continue doing, even during the month of Ramadan, even while fasting, it will not nullify the fast. It's not makhru, in fact, it is mustahab, it's encouraged. And the other important sunnah which people neglect or avoid mainly fearing that it will spoil their fast or nullify their fast, is putting water in the nostrils, sniffing the water normally, especially during wudu. So many of the Muslims, even when they do wudu, they just get the water close to the nose and touch the tip of the nose to the water, that's it. They don't put the water into the nostrils and they clean their nose, they don't sniff it, which is a requirement for wudu, thinking that if they sniff, it may break the fast. Water entering through the nose into your throat will nullify the fast. But the chances are very negligible. What our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, it's mentioned in Asai Hadith of Abu Dawood, volume number two, Hadith number 2360. Our beloved Prophet said that when you do wudu, sniff the water excessively, except in fasting. So normally when we do wudu, we sniff the water excessively, except in fasting. Because in fasting, if we sniff excessively, there are chances, though very negligible, for it to enter the throat and nullifying your fast. But normally when we put water in the nostrils, there are no chances of it going in the throat. So only care that we have to take while fasting is don't sniff excessively. But we have to put the water in the nostrils and clean the nostrils, which is important sunnah, which many of the Muslims neglect. And they avoid it, especially during wudu. And here, since the Prophet clearly mentioned, except fasting. During the sevakh, he said, I would have made it compulsory had it not been difficult for my ummah. There, because he doesn't say fasting, it means that sevakh can be used while fasting, and sniffing should not be done excessively, but normally water should be put in the nostrils while doing wudu. So these two important sunnahs, which people out of ignorance, they avoid during fasting.